Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me for this brief devotion as we spend a few moments together with our Good Shepherd Jesus. Our reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, reading verse 24. Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Years ago, a Navy jet shot itself down over the deserts of Nevada. The jet was traveling at supersonic speed, but it was testing out a new wing-mounted cannon. The problem was the cannon was shooting its bullets at subsonic speed. So literally, the plane ran into its own gunfire in just a few seconds. Now, the result was tragic, but it serves to prove some of those sayings that we have, like, look before you leap, or don't get carried away, count the cost before you start and don't get ahead of yourself. Well, running the race of faith is very similar. A lot of Christians are like that airplane. They travel so fast, they're running and running and doing and doing, and they burn themselves out. Sometimes we think we are faster, stronger, have more faith than we really do, and then all of a sudden we hit a brick wall and we stop. Other times, we are in such a hurry that we mess things up. I remember my track coach yelling at me one time to run my own race the way I had practiced and not run it the way somebody else in the race was running. Well, see, the Pharisees in our reading, or the Pharisees of Jesus' day that Paul is also reminding us of here, is they took God's law, the Sabbath, and turned it into a foot race, so to speak. They took what God had intended to be a blessing for people and made it a law, a burden for them to try and live up to. And Jesus had to remind them that the Sabbath was made to be a blessing for man, Man wasn't made to be a blessing for the Sabbath. Now, a grown person can enter worship with the same enthusiasm of a child uh, entering an amusement park. And sometimes rest can be active, even rambunctious activity. And so worship can include celebration. As surely and as somber as the truth is that Jesus died for our sins, it's also a exuberating and an exciting truth that he rose again for our salvation. And so use his power, use his strength, so that you don't get ahead of yourself, but you keep running the race to get the ultimate prize. Join me in prayer. Holy Spirit, help me not get ahead of myself and lose the beautiful rest you give as I worship you. Bless my worship with all the treasures of heaven. Amen. Well, keep on running, my friends, and that way you'll get the prize.